again. Today I'm going to be making you Zepoli, which is a really good Italian donut. It's going to be with orange zest, and I'm going to serve it with a really good chocolate dipping sauce. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you are going to need to have a pan with oil or just vegetable oil um, on medium heat, and then you are going to... Once you have that, you're going to get a saucepan and you're going to put it on about mm, medium heat and then you're going to get uh, about three-fourths of heavy cream and you're going to pour it in. There we go. Nice and yummy. Then you're going to get your chocolate. I like semi-sweet chocolate so that it's not all super sweet when you're trying to eat it and it's almost inedible. So I'm going to put in some sweet chocolate in my bowl and we're going to wait for the heavy cream to get warm. Um, you, don't want th you obviously don't want the milk to the cream to boil so you're going to take it off the heat and then once it's taken off the heat you're going to pour it nice right in to the chocolate chips and so now what you want to do is fold over the chocolate chips so that they can melt and create a nice chocolate sauce keep folding your chocolate sauce until it's nice and smooth like mine is and then you're gonna bring it over here and let it melt the rest of the chocolate chips and do its magic now you're going to turn your Heat on your pan about halfway on medium, and then you're going to take a stick of butter, full stick of butter. You're going to rub it around on this until it starts to melt. Then you're going to get a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You're going to get a quarter of a cup of sugar for the sweetness. Then, you're going to get half of a cup of water. You're going to want to stir it all around until the butter is melted and all of the sugar and salt have dissolved. You're not going to want to bring it to a roaring boil, but you're going to want it to boil just a little bit until you start to take it off the heat. Once your butter has started to melt and all of your mixture has started to boil, it's at a light boil, you're going to want to take it off the heat. And then you're going to take your flour, one full cup of flour, you're going to pour it in. And it's like that. And then you're going to take your spoon and you're going to Mix it gently so that it, well, fastly, so that it all is getting a nice consistency and you should stop when it starts to stick to the edges and start pulling away from them. Now you're going to pull the mixture back onto the heat and you're going to start stirring it until it starts pulling away from its sides. Once it does that, you're going to be ready for the next step. This is a great mixture and it has started pulling away from the sides, so I think we're ready for our next step. We're going to bring it over to the mixing bowl, and we're going to put it all in, just like that. And then we're going to get one egg, you're going to take your mixing bowl, and you're going to put it on your electric mixer, and then you're going to take one egg at a time, and you'll do one egg at a time because the mixture is actually so warm that it can make scrambled eggs out of your eggs. That would not be good. So then you're going to put down your electric mixer, and you're going to put it on mix. Definitely not the highest one. Then you're going to make sure that your egg yolk is getting all mixed in with the batter, and if it's not, just feel free to just push it all together towards the middle. Once you feel that it's done, just turn off the mixer. Lift it up and 
take out your mixture. And you're going to want to stir it all around together. Just like that. You want to make sure not to leave any liquid egg in there because if you do, it could actually scramble it, like I told you before. So now, once you feel as if you're done with that, you can put it back on. You can put it back on. And then you're going to put in egg number two. Now, make sure not to get any shell in there. That would make some bad donuts. And now put it back down. And turn it on. Just like that. Let it get nice and runny. Just like that. And then, anytime, just take it off. Lift it up. And action. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to take it off and you're going to want to stir it again. Again so that the liquid doesn't stick together. Once you've added all the eggs, you want to make sure that it's just nice and smooth and it looks like cake batter. Just like that. And then you're going to come over here. You're going to take your zester. And you're just going to zest about a tablespoon of orange into your Zapoli mix. Just like that. And I love the zest because it just gives it so much flavor. And it just gives it that zing, you know. Makes it taste much, much better. That would probably be enough. Now, we're going to put those aside for right now and just... Do that, and we're going to put that aside for now, and then I'm just going to mix in all of the orange zest. Nice and smooth, just like that. Now, you're going to, once you've mixed all this in, you're going to want to make sure that you have a bowl with a paper towel in it, so just so that it absorbs all of the excess oil that comes from your Zapolis. Now you're ready for the fun part. Now you're going to get an ice cream scoop or a melon baller, and you're going to bring this up just like that, and you're going to put it in the grease that you had before. Now it's going to be nice and hot, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it there, tip it over, squeeze it just like that, and lift it up just like that. Now. And you're going to do it again. Take it, lift it up like that. Just going to get another scoop. And make sure not to overcrowd it so that it doesn't, because if you overcrowd it, one of them could just take up all the grease. And I like to be almost robotic about it. Tip it, tilt it, and then pull it up. Just like that. And it makes a perfect little zipoli. Then, we're going to do about four, so we're going to... The third one, just like that. You put it there, flip it over, and just like that. And the last one, scoop it up against the wall so that it's no excess. Tip it over, and clay. Just like that. So you're gonna want to. Use this, I like using this spoon because it filters through the grease pretty easily. And then you're going to want to turn them as much as possible. Some of them can be kind of a trouble to turn, but you can just hold them down and then you can start to turn the other ones. Ooh, like that one. Then, that one looks yummy. Then you're going to take another one, fold it over, Ooh, come on. Like that, and sometimes it won't flip over, so all you need to do then is just hold it down. And once your zapolis are cooking, 
you're going to want to get some sugar, about half a cup, and then you're going to want to grind a lot of orange in there. Well, as much orange as you find comfortable. You're going to want to get some orange in there just mm -hmm. to get some more flavor. Now, you're going to want to get a spoon and you're going to want to mix it all in and mush it into the sugar so that it sort of forms in the sugar just like this. So you're going to smash it all together until it looks like this. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to sprinkle it all over the Zipoli. Not too much of it, but just, just enough so that the Zipoli can get all the sweetness, absorb all of it, so that they taste much, much better. Just like that. Yeah, hot sauce is done. I poured it into my bowl, and now I am ready to plate. So, we're just gonna put them down in a nice little pile, just like this. Like this. And you can really see that the napkin has absorbed lots of the extra grease hot grease that we wouldn't have wanted in our mouths. <laughs> so now, we put it all in a little pile. Just like that. This. Ooh, let's dress them up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. Just like that. Make it look like it's snowing. Make sure not to get it in the chocolate, though. Just all like that. Makes them look and taste much better. And I am done. Now you can eat your delicious Zipolis, and oh, they are so good. Thanks for spending time with me here today. I hope you get to try these in person.